everyone. Today I wanted to show you how I fix the user has issue to log into the Azure Virtual Desktop issue. I have a user called me back regarding he has issue to log into the Azure Virtual Desktop. It was working fine before, but uh, he has issue to log in to the to any virtual desktop, you know, in the Azure Cloud. When he logged into the remote, you know, remote desktop and then click log into Azure Virtual Desktop, he inputs the username and password in and click log in and then the user gets this window popping up. After a while, it says user profile first attached, please contact support. You know, I find out the user is logging into the AVD dash zero because we have three Azure virtual desktops. I just put the this uh, host in the you know drain mode, but still when user logs into the other virtual desktop, the user get the same error message. So this means it's not a, a virtual desk the server issue, it's the user profile issue. So normally for the Azure virtual desktop, we use FS logic, means you know we create a you know file share in the storage account and then we set up the group policy. So when the user log in, they will create the they will download the user profile from the you know share you know storage share file share and then they will you know when the user sign out, they will, the data will be written back to the you know FS logic. That's what the you know FS logic logic means. So when I how can we fix this issue? Normally, it's the user profile issue. We need to rebuild the user profile because as a domain admin, I could not have you know rename or delete the user profile from the file here. I need to log into the global administrator. So that's what I am doing to fix the issue. Normally, first thing I need to log into the portal.azure.com. This is the, you know, the portal for the all the Azure Cloud virtual machines and also for the uh, Azure virtual desktop. And then I need to search the storage account. There are a few storage accounts like you know file here and other you know share files, but I need to log uh, open the storage account for the FS logic. So we have the FS the name is called like a FS logic store security20.com.au. After I open the storage account, I then I go to the file here. There's a file here we created for the user profile. And then in the file here, we see there's a profile created for the file here. I need to click browse, you know, browse the file here on the left side. After I create, click the browse file here on the left side, I can see all the user profiles, you know, in the, on the screen. And I need to select the user you know, profile, which is start from the username, like in here, of the first name, the last name, plus the the known, you know, global unique, you know, identity number. The, you know, the file name is the, because the FS logic uses the VHD file format, so the extension is VHD. So I need to select the file, and then I click delete on the top, on the, you know, Bar, you know, for this on the screen, then to delete the user profile from this, uh, you know, profile here file. After this, to delete it because before that, I need to get a user to sign out from the, you know, actual virtual desktop and sign out of the, you know, user session first. Then I go to this, you know, file here to delete the user profile from the, you know, from the storage account to so file here. After this, I get the user to sign again, and he's able to log into the you know Azure Virtual Desktop, and he also needs to set up the you know Outlook and like Outlook and also OneDrive from start because it's just a builder create a new profile for the builder when the user sign to the Azure 
activate the desktop again. So this way, we fix the user logging into the you know, activate the desktop issue. Thank you for watching.